Today we're at Schumacher Homes Greenville Spartanburg location and we are standing inside of one of their brand new models, the Hook of Falls. And as you can see behind me right here, it is amazing. This home is part of their modern retreat collection and it is a three bedroom, two and a half bath sitting inside of 2,265 square feet. The front of the home features a beautiful two car garage with a black garage door and some nice modern sconces that sit on either end. As you work your way up to the front door, you'll find a gorgeous modern doorway as well as a nice covered overhang. This home also features a black board and batten siding with some nice wood siding accents that really give this home that extra wow factor. On the front of the home, as well as all the way around the home, you will find a number of windows that really help provide a tremendous amount of natural light on the inside. As you move around to the back of the home, you will find even more outdoor living space, which really is the showstopper of this home. In the middle, you'll find a beautiful courtyard that has a nice fire pit, and that sits in between both the great room and several of the bedrooms. Off of the great room, you will find a massive covered back deck as well, which has some skylights as well as just plenty of open space to hang out. From there, you can easily enter through the sliding glass door, leave it open, enjoy some nice breeze. This home right here, it is something else. The outside of this home is absolutely spectacular, but as you can tell, the inside of this home, it's got some fun things. So what do you say we go get inside and see what all we can find? All right, y'all have no idea how excited I am to tour this home. <laughs> I love kind of the, the, the modern look to the homes. And this one was still under construction when I first came down here. So I was super excited when I heard that it was completed. And tropical storm or no tropical storm, I had to come and see it. So this is your front door right here. I love the door. Really nice and modern look, great big windows. And then of course, as you walk in, you get views straight back into the courtyard, which I absolutely love as well. This is, uh, I could definitely see myself hanging out here, especially with the fire pit and everything like that. I like that a lot. Now, you could probably do a number of things back here. Uh, if you wanted to, it probably look like, like, a, like a garden would be really neat too. I could just see like, I don't know, things planted everywhere, especially with the natural elements of the exterior of the home. I think that would look really sharp. And then this is my second favorite part, which are these beautiful ceilings and the great room and kitchen and dining room. Just, I love it. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and start over here. This is a neat spot too, um, which I saw from the outside. I haven't been back here yet, but this is a cool little office space, kind of tucked away behind the kitchen which I like a lot. Pretty nifty little area. It's got more windows that really help bring in a lot of light. And then coming into the kitchen, y'all, there's so much happening in this kitchen too. Beautiful counter right here with the waterfall edge. I like that. Nice, almost marbly look up underneath of the counter. Beautiful pendant lights. Those are pretty cool. And this island is massive. Undermount sink sitting right here in the middle. With beautiful views back out into the great room. I cannot get over these ceilings. Like I love that they brought it inside and look how it kind of flows all the way out onto the covered patio back there or porch. Man. So on this side, plenty of drawers over here too. I like how the, the overhang of the counter kind of covers them a little bit. Backside, nice big stove top over here. Very nice. Got the built-in oven and the microwave. Hoo-hoo-hoo! <laughs> Nice pantry door right there. That's pretty neat. Good sized pantry in here too. I love, I, I, I love the wood shelves, how it kind of wraps around. And it almost, man, this thing, it would lead you to believe that it's gonna, yes, granted, I know 
I knew it was a pantry, but I thought it was going to open up this way or this way. You know what I mean? I didn't know that the whole door was going to be a pantry. So that was pretty neat. Got like a little buffet over here with a massive transom window. Ooh, and like the backsplash kind of wraps around to the window seal. Pretty neat. All right. So from the kitchen, let's go ahead and hop into this dining room. Love the light fixture right here. I think that looks fantastic. Great big dining room table too. And just, you got that massive window right here. Just, I mean, take, look at all of the windows. I love the skylights too. I think those look really good. And I like how the, the wood kind of wraps up into them. You know what I mean? All right, into the living room or great room. Beautiful light fixture, more big windows into the, the courtyard area. Let's get over here real quick. There is a lot happening in this home for sure. So nice living room space and then out onto the back patio. Then that has even more skylights. That's pretty neat. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it was raining. Luckily, thank goodness, we got a break in the rain just long enough to capture some shots on the exterior because, oh man, I drove 10 hours down here yesterday. Well, I'm, I've been doing a whole thing, going back over all of the Schumacher homes in North Carolina and down in the Greenville area so I can get them up on TikTok and all that type of stuff. Um, so I did that, and then this morning I went from Asheville down here to Greenville, and today was supposed to be the worst day of the storm. But thankfully, thankfully, I had about 30 minutes of no uh, rain or anything, so I was able to get the drone up and stuff. Whew, that would have been, that would have been bad. That would have been sad. <laughs> All right, Coming down the hallway on the opposite side of the home. A cute little powder room over here. I love these countertops. I think that looks pretty nice. The backsplash looks pretty cool too. Ooh, look at this door. So nice, kind of coat closet maybe? Um, linen closet? One of those two things. Man, there's a a lot happening in here so it kind of there's a their doorway going this way we'll check that out right now i guess <laughs> that hallway kind of goes for a little bit i wonder ooh, look at the ceilings in here doesn't quite go all the way up to the top more like accenty things Ooh, this is nice look at that back wall right there I love how they ran all of that stuff through. This setup is something else. Ooh, I think this is the master bedroom, which is cool. Could you imagine? Let's, let's check it out. You wake up in the morning, you know what I mean? Got a nice little view out into the trees. Whew, that's pretty cool. Got some nice light fixtures on either side of the bed. And then coming back home here into the closet. Nice step-in closet. It's pretty nice that it sits right behind the bed too, which is pretty interesting. <laughs> Got the tub. Pretty fancy. Got all the crank out windows on either side of it. Beautiful floating vanity right here too. Look at these lights. Got the step-in shower. And I love this backsplash right here. Or I guess it wouldn't be a backsplash in a shower, but the tile surround looks pretty neat. And then all the way at the back, nice little water closet. I'm actually kind of glad we came into this one first. That wall right there though, man. That thing is it's my favorite. I'm gonna go, I've been taking pictures of all this stuff. You know, things I want in my future home. 
All right, coming down the hall, we're gonna work our way back to the other two bedrooms, I would imagine. So another floating vanity right here. I love these countertops. Again, same ones as in the powder room. You got the shower and tub combo with the tile surround going all the way up. Holy moly, look at the size of that shower head. That thing is, that's huge. All right. Uh, there is attic access right here in the hallway. And then into the first of the two secondary bedrooms. This window right here, this sits kind of on the front side of the home, uh, looking out towards the garage. I love these closet doors though. Looks like almost like castle-y. Like if you were to go into a castle, you know what I mean? That's what I think it looks like. And then into the second bedroom. Pretty neat. Got the bunk beds in here. Good size rooms too. Well, I'm not uh, disappointed. I'm going to say that. Uh, this thing is very nice, has some super cool features. This is the mudroom back here. Uh, got a little sitting area over here. It's a fancy little bench top too, you know what I mean? And then into the laundry room. Now, I love this home. There's another one in Ohio that's new too uh, that I haven't toured yet. I think we're going to try and get to that. I might have to wait until springtime. Winter is coming on, but this is the garage door right here. It is locked right now, so can't show you that, but it is, it's a two car garage. What's going on everyone? Welcome back. Today we are at Schumacher Homes, Akron, Ohio location, and we are currently standing inside of the West Point. This is a four bedroom, three and a half bath, 1,718 square foot craftsman style home. Gorgeous front to this home, stone, shake shingle and then you have these beautiful dark blue beams with the exposed wood truss up top here on the porch beautiful ceiling with the wood slats and again the shake shingle siding so let's go ahead and step inside so this is your view when you first step into this home i'll go ahead and turn you around and let you check out the foyer See if I can back up enough so you can see it. So very nice. I love the ceiling in here. And then you do have the stairs going up to the second floor and a coat closet, both to the right as you walk in. And then to the left, you have a flex room. It is currently set up as an office with these beautiful built-ins. Plenty of cabinetry. And some nice drawers, soft clothes. And then let's go ahead and since we're here, and this home just kind of flows easily like this, we'll go ahead and go upstairs and check out the rooms and view from up here. So you do come up and are immediately greeted with a nice loft area. It's got a built-in bench with the shiplap wall back behind it. Kind of a fun little place to hang out. And then this is your view down into the great room. And then coming into the first bedroom. This home, this bedroom sits up at the front of the home and I do like that it has its own ensuite. That's really nice. You know, the more bathrooms, the better. Into your walk-in closet, nice wood shelves in here and your hanging dowels. And then into the ensuite with your single vanity and your vanity light. 
and then you have your toilet and your shower and tub combo with the tile surround going all the way up to the ceiling nice blue keeping with the theme kind of matching the outside and then out of there and into the second bedroom so a nice little corridor before you actually enter into the bedroom and you do have a walk-in closet right here and then that opens up into this really big room actually it's a really nice size over here on the side of the house so pan you around let's check that out really nice size and then a Jack and Jill bathroom does connect this room to the next. So you have single vanity, your vanity light, and then your water closet, again with the toilet and the shower and tub combo with the tile surround going all the way up to the ceiling. And then into the third bedroom. Again, another really pretty sleigh bed. I like it. And I love the color palette throughout this home. They really kept it like matching. But that's me. I'm a, you know, I like blues. It's one of my favorite colors. Brings out my eyes, if you know what I mean. And then into this closet. And then you have attic access uh, in here as well. Man, I can't get enough of this great room. It is gorgeous. So let's get downstairs and kind of check out the rest. Like I said, once we get into the kitchen, your mouth is about to hit the floor. <laughs> I, mean, I walked into this thing, I was like, man, why'd they put the refrigerator in there? And then I turned around and it was like, bam, another refrigerator. It's like, oh, cool. So huge floor to ceiling fireplace right here. You got the tile surround, nice big thick mantle. And then these windows, wow. Crazy. So this is your view from downstairs in the corner of the great room, kind of peering upstairs. And then of course, into your kitchen with the glass dome pendant lights huge oversized island with the quartz countertops so four seats over here two seats on this side plenty of seating you have your dishwasher big old stainless sink and fixture and then a lovely view into the great room and then these drawers, oh my goodness, they're massive. Nice soft closed drawers. Even got some pull outs in here. And then on the opposite side, you have some more counter space with some really nice tile backsplash. Again, more cabinetry. And I really like how they have the accent lights kind of up on top of the cabinets. That's nice. Big old stainless refrigerator with that refrigerator on top and the freezer on the bottom. And this is just the first refrigerator. I'm gonna show you the other one in just a minute. And then continuing through the kitchen, you do have your microwave and oven built into your cabinets your gas stove top and your stainless range hood. Nice, nice, nice. <laughs> All right, and then into your dining room. Again, you have the sliding glass door over here that would lead out onto a patio. And then just stunning light fixtures hanging down over the top of your dining room table. All right, now I've been kind of dropping hint after hint, 
So we're gonna go ahead and go into it now. So as you step into your chef's pantry, you have this beautiful swinging door with the glass insert and then whoo, more cabinets. And then look at all of this shelving. Oh my goodness. All right, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm not gonna take you into the refrigerator. We just saw it. But anyway, again, beautiful quartz countertop, another dishwasher in here. So two dishwashers, another great big sink. And while you do have the one sink in there, in the middle of the island, this sink, you will be happy to know, does look outside. So you have beautiful views of whatever piece of property that you decide to put this home on. I know that's a big thing for a lot of people. So this home kind of, it's the best of both worlds. If you want to escape from everyone, come in here, wash some dishes, get just, you know, leave me alone. Or if you want to be a part of the action, you have that option too. And then depending on which way you're facing, uh, coming towards the back corner of the home where it's kind of angled, you do have your half bath with a single vanity and your toilet. And a crown molding up there. I love that wallpaper. Really nice. And then back behind me, huge laundry room. Whoa. So all of the counter space to fold your clothes. Again, windows, views I feel like are key in this home. Like you have them everywhere. And then you have washer and dryer hookups right here. More cabinets and drawers and then here they took the tile backsplash all the way up to the ceiling so very nice and then hanging a right into your mud room i call it a mud room but so you have a nice built-in over here with all the cubbies and plenty of hooks to hang your stuff and then opposite that it's kind of like a pocket office got a window and then through this door would lead to your two car garage. And then you even have a nice closet in here, hang your, your big coats in the off season. You know what I mean? All right. So you're probably thinking to yourself, Tim, it can't get much better than that. Well, I don't know. <laughs> I haven't been this far in the house yet. So we're going to go find out together. And we will step into the master suite. Already see in the ceiling. And they carried the wallpaper accent wall that I like. And then in here you have, you would have private access out onto the patio. Massive windows. Look at the chandelier. It's definitely a dream home. Gorgeous. And then from here, you will step into the master ensuite. So double vanity right here. And then in the middle, you have room for a makeup vanity. Open up some of these drawers. I don't know if you could see it in the peripherals, but I'm gonna turn you around in a minute. So you do have, I was gonna try and open up another cabinet, but then it was just the one under the sink. So then you're just gonna see the piping. So that's not cool, but look at this beautiful standalone tub. And then you have this great big walk-in shower with the tile surround. And then the shower tray is tiled also. And then you have your water closet with your toilet. And then, oh, you have two. So you have two separate water closets, one to either side of the shower and tub. That's nice. I'm just saying. All right, and then into the first walk-in closet with plenty of built-ins, nice wood shelves in here. 
and I think that this may be the smaller of the two. I caught a, a little bit of a glimpse. And then this is, oh my word, the second walk-in closet. <laughs> Dibs. So beautiful walk-in closet. I love this home. If you wanna see another one of the homes that I love though, even more than this one. Today we're at Schumacher Homes' newest Savannah Hilton Head Model Center here in Hardyville, South Carolina. We're getting ready to walk through the coastal version of their Belleville floor plan. This version of the Belleville is a true southern delight with its sprawling layout and massive wraparound porch. Within the main home, you will find four bedrooms and three and a half bathrooms inside of 3,182 square feet. This home also has a pleasant surprise as it features not one, but two master bedrooms with the bonus suite situated above the detached three car garage, which sits inside an additional 550 square feet. On the front of the home, you will notice it has tons of curb appeal with its multiple gables and gable accents, as well as a large dormer poking out over the garage. The large wraparound porch beckons for porch swing sitting, long conversations, and of course, the sweetest of sweet tea. Moving around to the back of the home, you will find several windows, mostly coming out of the massive great room and an additional covered porch. I could definitely picture a few gardens out back and a small patio off the back porch with a fireplace and a grill. To me, I think that would be absolutely perfect. As for the price of this model, it starts at approximately $558,000, though that price could vary due to your specific design choices including exterior packages, which this home comes in a craftsman and American tradition, in addition to the coastal version we're checking out today. If you want any more information on this floor plan or Schumacher Homes, you can find that information at timothyplivingston.com. The link will be in the description. With all of that, let's go get inside and see what all surprises await. All right. Yeah, these homes, man. <laughs> They are something special and I, I love the ceiling in here. I've been dying to come down here uh, ever since Jen showed me the Facebook post uh, that talked about this is one of their new model centers, uh, that it was ready to go. So I was like, yes, let's go do it. So here we are. This is your front entrance. When you first walk in, you got a fun little accent wall over here. There's actually a lot of these accent walls, um, which are pretty neat. And then right off of that, You've got this great big coat closet fitting super tall and the door is hefty too so plenty of storage room in there and then from there you immediately enter into the great room so plenty of windows got some stone accents going all the way up to the gorgeous ceiling i i love everything about the ceiling uh got that like rustic barn wood with some exposed beams and then some funky lights hanging down right in the middle of the great room yeah there's a uh, their actual office to the model center like their design center um it's kind of like the whole exterior looks like that and i was like I would love to have a house that looks like the outside, like on the outside, like the ceiling. I think it'd look neat. But uh, you got some floating cabinets over here with a little underglow, which is nice. They have that same theme kind of in the kitchen. And then looking back up to, looks like the loft area, maybe the secondary bedrooms. Now I haven't been all the way through this home. Uh, I've just been mostly in the kitchen and I did pop my head up to um, kind of the loft area up above the garage. So that, that looks pretty nice. This is, uh, you know, it's like an in-law suite up there, a junior suite, a little multi-generational living. But out here onto the back porch, plenty of room. I love the ceilings out here too. Like, I like to, to see a little bit of wood, um, incorporated throughout the home. I think it's nice. And I love that they put a little fire pit back there. 
just kind of lets you envision uh, what it would look like. You know what I mean? And then, let's see. I guess we'll start over here on this side. Got the great big kitchen island right here. Kind of keep with the same rustic theme. A little accent up underneath of the island. Waterfall edges on either side. Nice pendant lights. And I was, uh, I was walking through here and I found the, where the stoves are. Cause if you're looking, you're like, where are they? You literally can't see them anywhere. <laughs> anyway, it's uh, you'll see them in just a second, but you got your uh, range right here and your range hood. Some great big cabinets. And then you got these two little corner cabinets over here too. I thought they were pretty nifty. And here's your ovens like right around the corner as we're kind of working around. That wasn't like the best reveal or anything, but <laughs> anyway, uh, Island's got some nice cabinets and drawers also. And then on this side, good to see a sink back up underneath of a window. I feel like lately with all the Pennsylvania homes and um, the Kansas homes, most of them, I think there's been one or two that have been up underneath of a window, but most of them all in the island. Your refrigerator. And then check out this pantry. <laughs> this thing is, that's pretty neat. Like huge. Got a window in here too. Nice wood shelving. And then you even have, uh, looks like attic access maybe. Now, uh, I'm sure there would be a door here. Uh, if you haven't toured the Schumacher homes with us before, you won't find a lot of doors within their models. Uh, but once you get the home built uh, on your own property, you would have doors. Unless you didn't want doors, then you wouldn't have doors. But nice big dining room set up. Another fun accent wall. And then through here, you enter into the mud room, laundry room area. So this door right here actually goes out onto the breezeway and through those doors you go into the garage and up to the loft. But we'll get up there uh, in a little bit. We'll get through the main portion of the house first. You got a nice little built-in right here. Some cubby holes. And in the laundry room, got washer dryer hookups, cabinets going all the way down. And then some nice windows in here too, help brighten it up a little bit. It's a wash basin, just plenty of space to kind of fold some clothes. And then also a powder room. So you got some nice vanity lights up here. I like the pulleys. I don't know if you can kind of see it. They got like little pulleys on them. Looks pretty nice. Single vanity. Nice. I like this too. Tile going up to the ceiling and then you also have the toilet. All right. From here, I would imagine this is a first floor master. Now I haven't been back this way yet. They always have such nice uh, master bedrooms too. So you got the water heater right here underneath of the stairs. Now this would probably be or could be a stairwell uh, down into the basement if it had one. Uh, this being a model home, it uh, that's probably just where they put it for convenience but I'm not sure. <laughs> this is nice though. You got the exposed beams up there too. That, I didn't even feel this. I don't know if this is, this looks like wall, wallpaper. Could have fooled me. 
And then into, you got a built-in gym. A wall of mirrors. This sits up towards the front of the home. Kind of an interesting thing. Now these type of rooms, you can always change them up and stuff. This is just one idea. Kind of convenient back here. You got a little spot. Normally I would say that this is probably a, a wet bar, but being that it's a gym, probably put some Gatorades, some waters. Got a prep sink right here. But I mean, you could also turn this into an office if you wanted to. And then into the ensuite. Yeah, you see the exit, this is the, the, that's the design studio right there. And I think that would look cool <laughs> just to have a whole home like that. But you got a great big tub right here in the middle, double vanities. I'll show you the other one in just a second. Cool little sconces on either side of the mirror. And then nice walk-in shower, great big shower head, tile shower tray. And then there's your second vanity. The water closet with the toilet and all the way at the back Ooh, this one's pretty nice got the island in here too so this is your closet so you got shelves on this side shelves on this side then you have more attic access this island, you got some cubby holes over here too. All right, now we'll go make our way uh, upstairs and then we'll go check out uh, that, that loft uh, up above the garage because it, it's, it's almost like a studio apartment, but it still looks pretty neat. And then coming up the stairs, get you a view back down into the great room too. Like it's just, I mean, that thing is massive. So once you get up here, uh, you do have this second kind of sitting area. I've been seeing a lot of these walls right here. It's just like a little puzzle piece. They've done them in a variety of ways, but it almost reminds me of like Pac-Man. But to the left of the stairs, we'll go into this bedroom first. It's got its own ensuite. Well, this is fun. Check out these kind of lamps right here. Do they? Oh yeah, they move. I didn't want to break anything. I'm always afraid of breaking things. That's a good sized room. Whether you have one or two beds. Plenty of closet space. And then it's very own ensuite. So that shower. Shower head. I kind of like this surround better with the rocks. I would almost put that in the master bathroom. Or maybe make that like uh, the shower tray. But next to that, you got the toilet. And then a single vanity. Again, same light fixtures. And then the linen closet. Oh, there's three bedrooms up here. I couldn't remember if this was a, a three 
uh, or four bedroom home. Oh, well, this one's got some fun lights too on either side of the bed. So nice big room in here too. <laughs> now is this a Jack and Jill? Yes. So looks like you do have a vanity on either side. There's one over there also. But then you got a shower and tub combo in here. Almost like a, a spa tub. This is how it kind of turns. And then the water closet. And the second vanity. Ooh, this one's moody. Let me get back over here uh, by the doorway. So you got these fun little lights hanging down in the middle and then on either side. It's kind of neat how it makes it almost blend in with the trees. Like if you saw a UFO in the woods or something. But nice big room, some windows. Now this one is on the back side of the home. Let's see. And into its closet. Yeah, these doors. I wasn't expecting these doors to be so hefty. But they are. All right. Uh, now we'll go ahead and head back downstairs and we'll get out onto the porch and then we'll go up to the walk. So the door over here on the left hand side goes to the garage. It's locked, unfortunately. And then the door on the right hand side takes you in here and up to the loft. So once you get up here, you come back into uh, the plank floors. Got a little dry bar or whatever over here. And then just, like I said, it's almost like a studio apartment. It's kind of one big open space, which is great. The only thing it's missing, and you probably have it put in, I would say like a kitchenette, or maybe just turn this area into the kitchenette, if you wanted to use it for that. And you've got kind of like crawl space up here, kind of dark, but just a fun little extra bit of storage. But let me know in the comments what you would use this space for. Would it be an in-law suite? Uh, if so, would you add a kitchenette? Um, would it be an office, game room? You got the single vanity in here, the toilet, and the step-in shower. Very nice. What's going on guys? Today we are at Schumacher Homes, Charlotte, North Carolina location, and we are standing inside of probably one of the cutest homes in the world, like in the whole world. And when touring a home of this magnitude, you need someone that has a really nice, solid voice. So with that being said, I'm gonna send it over to Mr. Morgan Freeman and let him tell you a little bit about this home. Welcome everyone to the Earnhardt version of the Charleston. Another exquisite shoemaker home. This home is a stunning 2,400 square foot split bedroom ranch with four bedrooms and two and a half baths. The layout and floor plan of this home makes it look and feel much larger than the square footage would suggest. The exterior of this home provides plenty of curb appeal as well as a covered back porch. Great for relaxing and enjoying your view. Now sit back and enjoy as this wonderful man takes you through this incredible home. Oh my goodness. You had me from hello. <laughs> uh, this home is wow. And the exterior, that thing was 
Fantastic. Oh my word. So this is the entrance. This is the this is the foyer. This is what it looks like when you enter the home. The two chandeliers up top, huge, massive door. And to the left, when you do first walk in, as you enter, you have this gorgeous flex room. Right now it is currently set up as like a study office area, huge floor to ceiling built-ins. Man, I am, <laughs> I'm so happy to be here. And the, this Earnhardt collection, it is, it's something else. It is gorgeous. I'm actually getting ready to go. I get to go see another one tomorrow and I'm just tickled by it. So across from your flex room, you have your half bath. And then you have, ooh, that's tile. So you have a tile wall going all the way up to the ceiling. I actually thought it was wallpaper at first, but you have your toilet and your single vanity. Now, all of this stuff, you know, you can go inside of their design center, which by the way, Schumacher Homes has an amazing design center at all of their locations. It, I think their, their design centers won uh, several different awards, so they are fantastic. Oh, I didn't, I got, I got to talking. You do have, this is a coat closet right here. So when you do have guests over, they can come in and drop all of their stuff right there. And I'm gonna pan around, let you guys check this beautiful home out. My goodness, my heart's just, a pitter pattering. I'm in love. So floor to ceiling tile accent wall right here. And then all of these beams going across the main living area is stunning. I think that's one thing that the Earnhardt collection incorporates a lot of is that kind of rustic vibe. And I mean, I'm really into it. It's like farmhouse meets mountains. You know what I mean? Amazing. I love the chandelier right here. Really nice looking. And then you have a matching one over the top of your dining room table. So plenty of space for a nice big table. And then looking back across your main living area from here. Now this home does have a pantry, which you will see right here. And it is a walk-in pantry. Now, the doors in these homes, these are model homes. So there are no doors in any of the Schumacher homes, which allows you to flow as you're looking at it. So just trying to head that off. Don't worry about it. If you don't see the doors, if you had this home built, you would definitely have some doors. Beautiful cook area, massive cabinets, so much room, ridiculous. You have your gas cooktop, your stainless range hood, beautiful tile backsplash. And then you do have quartz countertops on both or on all of your um, counter surfaces. <laughs> uh, two ovens. That's what I'm talking about. We're all my, my chefs out there. If you get this home, invite me over to Thanksgiving because you'll be able to get some stuff done. And this is, this is a beautiful home for I would, man, I'd invite everybody over if I had this home for Thanksgiving. Come on over. Come into my place. So, huge refrigerator with your refrigerator on top. And your freezer on the bottom. And then you have some more counter space over here with more of those floored, or not floored at ceiling, but I mean, pretty much big old cabinets. So definitely a nice spot to put all of your appliances if you wanted to keep them out. And then we're gonna bring it around to this incredible 
island. Super oversized island. You have the waterfall sides on either end of the island. Gorgeous. Cute little pendant lights up top. And then coming down this side, you have plenty of cabinets and drawers. You got the kind of cute little pools right here. They're very almost dainty looking, fine, refined. I don't know what I'm looking for right there, but very nice either way. You have your dishwasher. You have your under mount farmhouse sink right here with the bronze fixtures. I don't know if you can see that real well. Hopefully you can. But man, man, man. All right. And then coming through the kitchen, you do have your mud room, entry room. You got some places to hang some stuff and then some built-ins and a bench for your shoes and whatnot. To the left of here is your two car garage. Then you have your utility room with your washer and dryer hookups. Cute little folding table. Got the can lights up top. All right, now we're gonna go check out the smaller bedrooms back here before we get into the owner's retreat because that thing is gorgeous as well. Oh, and I did wanna show you, so you do have all of these beautiful floors that run throughout most of the home. I say that because as you come into the bedrooms, you will notice that there is some carpet, but that's something that you can go into the design center and pick out whatever you wanted. Even if you did want some carpet, maybe you wanted some different type of carpet or whatever it may be. The double closet doors, absolutely gorgeous. They have the wooden shelves with the wooden dowels. Ooh, I didn't even see that either. So in here they went with some funky designs with the wallpaper. Some of these homes, like, I come to show you guys like the floor plans and stuff like that, but I also like, like I enjoy how they're set up like the designs and everything, because they're all so unique and different. All right, so this is your first full bathroom. You do have a single vanity in here. Again, with the quartz countertops. You have your linen closet, your toilet nook, and then you have your shower and tub. This has the tile surround with the tub and again the cute it's like a braised brass very nice into the second bedroom this one is towards the front of the house so beautiful windows right here and again as you pan around you will see that there is a double closet and just absolutely gorgeous and then coming into the third bedroom. Oh, well, oh, I like that. That's nice. Definitely grabs your attention. It's uh, like a shiplap wall with the grays and the blues. Really fun. And then I think the ceilings in here, are they? I don't know. They're really tall. Now this one is again at the front of the house. Beautiful. And then your closets in here as well. All right, now we are headed off to the master bedroom. And these are always my favorites just because they're, I mean, they're amazing. Nothing short of amazing. All right. Oh, you know what? We didn't even go out here yet. So hold that thought. Let's see if I can fit unlock them. Oh yeah. So you do have a covered back porch back here. It has the two ceiling fans. With the huge beams and everything too, like really nice looking. A 
love it. <laughs> All right. Sorry, I, I teased you for a second, but I feel like I couldn't couldn't go without going out there on that porch. All right, in between your dining room and your master bedroom, you do have kind of like a little media center, which is really pretty, and that kind of looks out over your porch. So very calm and relaxing, especially if you had this thing on some land. Man. And then into this incredible master bedroom. Huge windows. Lovely chandelier and I love kind of the, the accent on the ceiling right there. I would like to know what that is called, if it has a name. So if you know, let me know down in the in the comments. And this is the look from your bathroom into your master bedroom. B E A beautiful. And then coming into the bathroom, double vanity, the ship lap accent wall going up to the ceiling. Opposite that, you have this wonderful walk-in shower with the tile surround and even the tile shower tray. Super nice. And the doors, they're the glass opening doors. So no sliders here. Digging it. Digging it. And you do have your water closet with your toilet. And then you do have two closets in the master bathroom as well. So this one goes around for a little bit. You can see who got the, the bigger one with these clothes in here. Oh my word, would you look at that? That is absolutely beautiful. Hey, what's going on everyone? Welcome, today we are at Paul Schumacher's Louisville, Kentucky location and we are currently standing inside of the modern farmhouse version of the Charleston. Now there are several different types of this floor plan. The differences being in most of them is the exterior design and of course the interior finishes. This floor plan is a four bedroom, two and a half bath, sitting inside a beautiful 2400 square foot single story home. It features coffered ceilings right here in the kitchen over the top of your island, a beautiful set of pendant lights in your great room, and then of course your master bedroom is amazing. Now Paul Schumacher Homes is one of the largest customized site built home builders in North America designing several award winning homes and after walking through them I'd have to say they are absolutely incredible. So what do you say we go ahead and start talking about the outside before we start walking through this amazing home. Now the exterior of this home really brings that farmhouse feel to life with the beautiful white board and batten siding accented by the brick and of course the black framed windows. Now when you first walk up to the front of this home, the front porch has these beautiful wood pillars. This home also has a two car garage, again with the barn style doors. Now as you walk around the outside of this home, of course you are greeted with amazing curb appeal. You can take in all of the windows, which really provide so much light once you get inside. And then the back porch, which is just an absolutely amazing hangout spot for both you and your friends. And the sliding glass door, which lets you flow easily from the inside to the outside of the house. Now the outside of this home has so much to love, but of course that is nothing compared to the inside of the home. So let's go ahead and head on inside and I'll show you what I'm talking about. All right. Now this is going to be the exact same floor plan as the one that we toured when we were at the Columbus North location. So you come in and you have this beautiful foyer 
with a wonderful chandelier and then the ceilings you have that coffered ceiling and these beautiful plank floors and to the left when you first come into the home this is your flex room which here it is currently set up as an office space and again they have the same planks on the ceiling with the can lights and these beautiful windows letting in all of the light across the way from that is your half bath which again is perfect when you have guests over you have the undermount sink with a beautiful fixture and then you have your toilet and it, they run tile in here it's like a gray tile really nice i like the soft colors in this one From there, you have your coat closet. With beautiful wood shelves. And then it opens up into this amazing great room and kitchen. Again with the coffered ceilings gorgeous home and i love how they have all the pendant lights hanging down in the living room really gives it that kind of modern feel to a rustic kind of design so you have this wonderful shiplap accent wall to mount your tv again a gracious amount of windows and just a lovely living room space from the living room you can overlook your kitchen with this huge island very large oversized island and then in the middle you do have this beautiful farmhouse sink with the dark fixture around the island you do have a number of cabinets you have some pot and pan drawers and they are all soft clothes Next to your sink, you have your dishwasher. And then coming around to the other end of the island, you just kind of see the beautiful design that they went with underneath. Now opposite the island, you do have a whole bunch of cabinet space doesn't quite go up to the ceiling so if you did want to put some decorations up there i think that would look really pretty again they kept the ship lap behind all the cabinets now here you have some counter space for a little bar or fixing up some some food then you do have the frigid air stainless refrigerator with your refrigerator on top and your freezer on the bottom next to that you have your microwave and oven and it's crazy I love how they just kept the shiplap going all the way around and the cabinets, you have cabinets for days. Now walking through the galley area, you have your stove top and your range hood, both stainless. 
And then through all of that is your wonderful dining area looking out the beautiful sliding glass door onto your back porch. A really nice size table and I actually I love the table it's like a wood slab design let's see if we can get focus but really pretty oh my gosh look at that wall that's crazy now through that way is going to be your master bedroom and we will get there momentarily here you have an open pantry Beautiful deep pantry with nice thick looking wood shelves. Then you have your mud room with this beautiful locker look. You have the shelves on the bottom. And again, the flooring is running throughout this home, which is really nice. Now from here to the right, you have your utility room. To the left, you have your garage door. So we're gonna go ahead and enter the utility room first, and then you can already see where your washer and dryer would be with the beautiful folding table. And then on the opposite wall, you do have, that might be a place that you could put a freezer if you needed a freezer. Of course, this home does have a garage, so if you wanted to put a freezer out there, that would be a good place for it. Garage door. And coming into your garage. Now this is currently a two car garage. If you wanted a three car garage, that is something that you could talk to Schumacher Homes about and see if they couldn't hook you up. It's a little echoey in here. <laughs> All right. Now we're gonna go across the hall. Actually, you wanna go downstairs because this home has a basement. And it's got everything. These homes have been so much fun to tour. I almost, I get to the point where it's like, I wanna over film just because I want to do the homes justice, you know what I mean? You ever get that feeling where it's like, wow, is this, am, you know, am I in that same ballpark, that same category? But huge down here. If you were to finish this out, now they do have eight foot tall steel reinforced concrete slabs down here is for the wall. And then you do have your furnace down here as well. Going back upstairs, we will go into the back bedrooms. Yo, I love this home. Oh my gosh. I saw the Modern Farmhouse Olivia version the other day, and it was absolutely beautiful as well. All right, now coming into the first of the three bedrooms back here. Again, beautiful. So much light. Wonderfully decorated. <laughs> they really did a good job. Your closet. And then going back into the hallway to the left, you're immediately greeted with your first full bathroom. You have the single vanity, again with the undermount sink and the beautiful black fixtures. And then you have your shower and tub combo. And as far as the fixtures and stuff, they have a beautiful design center that you guys can come and walk through and pick out all of the fixtures that you want to put in your home. Then you have the linen closet here. And 
and then your toilet. Then coming back out into the hallway. Now the carpet is only in the bedrooms, so that's nice. Ooh, a rocker. This is the second of the three bedrooms back here. Again, huge, beautiful window. And in the same style of closet doors. And then into the third bedroom with beautiful windows. I love the accent wall. And then again, you have your double closet doors. All right, now it's time to go see the most beautiful bedroom you've ever seen. And that of course is in the master bedroom. So to get to the master bedroom, you do walk through this little study area. And again, this wall, oh my gosh. I love this thing. So funky looking. And then your beautiful master bedroom. And here they kept the plank flooring. No carpet in this one. Only carpet in the guest rooms. So you have the chandelier and then you have the recessed lights as well in here. And then that opens up into your beautiful bathroom. I love the herringbone tile. Really large vanity. With undermount sinks again. And these, man, those are going in my home. If I ever design, if I ever get to design one. That's where it's at. Oh my goodness. Talk about a shower. Y'all, that thing is huge. It has the glass doors, tile surround, all the way down to the floor, a bench, and a huge window. Then you have your water closet. Again, nice and big, plenty of room. And then you come into this grand walk-in closet. Oh my goodness. With the two beautiful chandeliers. even a place to sit down. And then you have some shelving over here as well. Today we are at Schumacher Homes, Asheville, North Carolina location, and we are currently standing inside of the Blue Ridge. Now this home has won the NAHB's National Gold Winning Home of the Year Award, and it's so easy to see why. Home is a three bedroom, two bath, 2,032 square foot home, and it's ridiculous. The outside of this home has so much character and charm, it incorporates multiple different gables, plenty of different types of siding, such as your shake shingle siding, your traditional vinyl siding, and I love how they went with a blue here. And then, of course, the rock foundation just really gives this home that mountain-esque feel. The front port is so incredibly inviting. It has an exposed wood truss and this drop-down lantern with a real-looking flame inside of it. Gorgeous. As you come around to the back side of the house, you'll see your humongous screened-in back porch. And like I said, it has an incredible real wood-burning fireplace, a spot to mount your TV, 
ceiling fans, a grill, just it is the place to be. And then this home also does have a two car garage and I'll be able to show you a little bit of that today. So the outside is absolutely impeccable, but the inside is even better and I can't wait to show it to you. All right, I'll just wait. I mean, you don't even have to wait that long. <laughs> Beautiful. Look at that. I love that fireplace. And oh my goodness. That's like surround around the stove. Ah, gracious. All right. So this is your entrance when you first come into the home. You have this beautiful archway leading from your foyer. You have your front door and your double coat closet doors. It's really, it's just one coat closet, but it's got two doors. And all of that opens up into your beautiful main living area. And then to the right, through this other archway, is your two back bedrooms. So we're going to go ahead and hit these up first and kind of stay to the exterior of the home. So this is your first bedroom. It sits at the front of the house. Beautiful window. I love tall windows. That's probably one of my favorite things. But this room definitely feels super light and airy and decent it's a decent size definitely a nice kids room you have your double closet doors right there and then coming out of this room down the hallway you have a linen closet right here and then you are greeted with your first bathroom so you have the single vanity your vanity light huge window your toilet. I love the color in here too. I think it's coming through like a mustardy yellow, but it's more like, actually I might like the mustardy yellow color. It's really more of like a tannish color, I guess. But then you have your shower and tub. But like if I could get the color that's in the screen right now that you're seeing, maybe you're seeing it. I, I feel like you're seeing it. It's a different color kind of than what was actually in there. But anyway, this is your second bedroom. Gorgeous, I love what they did with the wall right here. Cute hooks, I definitely have a lot of hats. I think this hook idea would be a really good idea. Super fan. <laughs> oh man, I started saying that in a video, a couple videos ago. This is your closet in here as well. And I just can't kick it. Jen was like, that was your word. I was like, what? You know how I sometimes whenever people start talking or speaking they have you know things that they say repetitively and that day that was what I kept repeating and it seems to have followed me all right coming into your living room you have this beautiful floor-to-ceiling stone fireplace and these just absolutely extraordinary exposed wood beams Definitely something that all of the Earnhardt collection homes have had. I really like it. Now on either side of your fireplace, you do have these beautiful built-ins with plenty of cabinets and shelves. I can get over here and let you kind of peer into one of them. So you got your wood shelves inside of the cabinet. And then you also have some glass ones as well super nice i'm digging that fireplace all right from here you enter into your dining room and kitchen area plenty of room for a really nice table this table is gigantic it seats eight so definitely a big table from here you come into your kitchen and let's go ahead and hit up the island first really nice triangle i like like the island is a triangle it also has that cooking triangle that everybody's always talking about so you do have a dishwasher right here beautiful stainless undermount sink with the stainless fixture and then all of the cabinets coming around both sides then i i like the raised bar on the islands just because it kind of separates it you know you got a place to prep you got a place to munch all the different things and then check out this this is a piece of art i love the stone surround 
gorgeous. You have the stainless stove and the stainless range hood. We'll get to that in just a minute. Let's come to these cabinets first. Beautiful wood cabinets. And then the backsplash, I love the backsplash. Really nice, both of them. So stainless range hood and then this oven. It actually has a couple different compartments. How cool is that? I haven't seen one like this ever. So pretty snazzy, but this stone surround right here is incredible. And it's real stone too, it's not faux, fake, I don't know. And then you do have some more counter space right here, maybe put some appliances and stuff, and some more cabinets as well. Then surrounding your refrigerator is your, um, what is that, what am I looking for? Then surrounding your refrigerator is your pantry cabinets or cupboards. And then of course your big, beautiful stainless refrigerator. Of course, I'm not gonna open it because this is part of, like this home is dubbing as their office. And I don't wanna see everybody's lunch. All right, coming out onto the porch. This is where the party is at. Check this out, gorgeous. And I'm talking about just the swing right here. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. But it does have a beautiful swing in this home. You don't necessarily have to have the swing, obviously. But this stone fireplace is, it's stunning. It's a real wood-burning stone fireplace. You have this incredibly thick mantle. I love it. And then you have a spot to mount your TV. And you also have some accent lights to really make this whole fireplace pop. Gosh, loving it. Screened in porch, beautiful ceilings. Got a couple fans out here to get the nice breeze on a hot summer day. Of course, it's a beautiful fall day right now, so there is no need for some ceiling fans. And then opposite all of that, you do have this beautiful grill space. You have your grill, a refrigerator, plenty of prep space. And then right here is the entrance into your master bedroom. So we'll get there in just a minute. We've got a few more things to check out. So actually, if you look behind the wall right there, that's behind the refrigerator and everything, um, it's kind of like a half wall. It separates the space and gives you like a hallway type feel. But behind that is this office area. And it is really, really cute. Definitely either keep it in an office, turn it into a media area. Well, I guess that's pretty much what it is. But really liking it. And then coming down the rest of the hallway, straight ahead you have your master bedroom, and we're going to get to that in just a minute because I know you're going to like it. So coming into here to your right where they have the bathroom right now, this would be your laundry room. So you would have some washer and dryer hookups in there. Maybe put yourself some folding tables or something. And then straight ahead through that big doorway would be the entrance into your two-car garage. Right now, that is where you would enter if you were to come and check out this home for yourself. Down here would be your full basement. That's where all of their main offices are right now. But here is the stairway up to the bonus room. And that we can go to. A man cave, or it could be a lady cave, or it could be a baby cave, it could be whatever you wanted it to be. Actually, I do want to know if you had a bonus room like this, what would you do with it? Maybe you already have a bonus room, and what are you doing with it? I've seen so many different things with it, uh, such as home gyms, you know, all different types of stuff. I think my uncle has a, a gym up in his bonus room. So pretty fun. All right. Now into the beautiful master bedroom, which you enter through this hallway. 
and wa bam gorgeous i love the ceiling you have this double tray ceiling right here with these colors that are just magnificent i don't know what else to say really cool looking definitely i'm, I'm digging the mustard yellow that's all i have to say so huge room this is a king size bed so it gives you an idea of the space that is in here and then this door right here is the door that leads out onto your back porch then coming into your master bathroom you can already see the humongous soaking tub i'm six foot tall and i could probably lay down in this thing maybe not all the way but pretty close huge and then you have your double vanities i love the bowls right here super cool looking snazzy and then you do have a his and her closet your standalone shower and your water closet of course there would be doors on all of these doorways in case you were curious i always get that one comment there's no doors it's just so you can walk in and out without having to open doors because honestly that's annoying especially when i'm trying to film you know i can't tell you how many homes i go into that the doors squeak and then i have to <laughs> oh my gosh it's a nightmare anyway i like the fact that in their model homes they don't have any doors but if you were to have this home built uh, on your site you would definitely have some doors and into the second closet today we're going to be walking through schumacher homes bluffton model at their newest hilton head savannah location in hardyville south carolina this home comes in a variety of exterior flavors so whether you prefer modern craftsman a modern farmhouse american tradition or coastal style homes this one can be built to suit the model we're touring today happens to be the coastal version and it features three bedrooms and two and a half bathrooms in the main house which consists of 2455 square feet this home also has an additional bonus suite that is situated above the three-car garage and it would make a great in-law or guest suite as it has an additional full bathroom and tons of space on the front of the home you will find a large covered porch that is extremely inviting and a great spot to take in a sunset or an afternoon thunder shower there are also a couple of gables accompanied by small gable accents that really add some extra charm as you approach this version of the bluffton Moving around to the back of the home, you will find several windows and an additional covered porch. Here you could add a patio or extend the porch itself for even more outdoor entertaining space. When it comes to the price, this version starts at approximately $525,000, though that price could be more or less depending on your exterior style choice. If you would like more information on this model or any of the models that we've toured across the country, you can use the Find My Floor Plan Finder on our website at timothyplivingston.com to filter homes based on your specific needs. It's all 100% free, so definitely go check that out. You can find the link for that down in the description. With that, let's get into the tour. All right, so this is the view when you first walk in. Super duper open floor plan. I just got out of the Belleville, uh, which is the other model that's here. It's a two-story floor plan. I don't know which one's going up first, but uh, man, I like both of them. Uh, each kind of have their own qualities that I like. Uh, this is your front entrance right here. It's got a nice little chandelier hanging down over the top of it. But this, uh, like, I don't know, this like wood paneling right here, it's one that I like in this one. Just all of the, it's a light tone, you know, and then it goes well with the floors and the white cabinetry. I don't know, I'm digging it. But next to the front entryway, you do have uh, a flex room space, semi-divided. You got this uh, pillar right here, which kind of helps break the space up a little bit. Like come in here, it's kind of set up like a little sitting room. Got some nice, uh, got a nice buffet over here with some cabinets down below it.
Now you could probably do a number of things with this one. You know, we've seen these spaces turned into offices. It could be a, another sitting room. We've seen them as dining rooms, all types of stuff. And then from there you come into the great room. I'm gonna get over here real quick because I just wanna, you got the double tray ceiling that extends from the great room all the way down into the kitchen. I like that a lot. Some nice big windows looking out onto the covered porch. And then over here you've got some floating cabinets. You got this nice underglow which uh, even goes over into the kitchen. Plenty of space for a nice big TV. big old light fixture right there hanging down all right from there we'll transition into the kitchen a great big island plenty of room again keeping with like the wood accents soft closed drawers i like these end ones but I also, like in the other home, it had uh, the waterfall edges, which uh, I like that as well. But at least it, this one has something on the end and not just uh, an outlet, you know what I mean? And then in the middle, you've got this great big sink. Looking back into the living room. This one's definitely more so for hosting, like. Your friends are here, you're hanging out with them. But you got a dishwasher next to that. Is there anything on this end? No. But then a wall, <laughs> a wall of cabinets. You got your stove top. You've got your range, your range hood. Man, these things go way up there. Double ovens. And then on this side, these go all the way up to the ceiling. You have the refrigerator and another little space, you know, put your coffee pot and stuff over here. The only thing I don't see it might be, we'll go this way before we get to the dining room because uh, we got the pantry down here, but I didn't see a microwave. So coming down this little hallway that we're in right now leads back to a whole bunch of stuff, uh, mainly the breezeway into the garage, but you got a single vanity right here in your toilet. So a nice little powder room. And then down here is the pantry. I don't know, maybe you just put the microwave on the... Uh, on the countertop, maybe. Now, the other thing, uh, just to go ahead and tell you about it, you won't see a whole lot of doors uh, going through or into most of the rooms. That's just because this is a model. Um, so if you were to have this home built, you would have doors just makes it where you don't have to constantly open and shut doors walking through the model. Now this is the mud room. So you got a, looks like your water heater would be here. Or it could be also down in the basement if you had a basement type foundation. Of course this is the low country so probably no basements here. And then in the back this is where your washer and dryer hookups would be. Got a little shelf up there. Now this door right here, I'll go ahead and show it to you, but we'll get up there in a minute. This leads out through a little breezeway into the garage on the right hand side. And then on the left hand side is the stairs up to the bonus room slash in-law suite, whatever you end up turning that into. And then right off of the kitchen, nice. 
big dining room. I like that they kept the, the wall like that. I almost wish that they would have kept the planks running horizontal right there too. I know that's, uh, I don't know if you'd use the same amount of wood or not, maybe. But I just like the continuity of it. And then coming out onto your covered patio, I love the bricks. I think that looks really good. But plenty of just hangout space back here. I wouldn't say it's the biggest back deck, but you could extend it with a nice little, little patio, depending on what your property looked like. Or I'm sure you could even extend the, the porch itself. Schumacher does customize the home, so there is that. Yeah, just, that's another thing. Keep in mind, as we're walking through all these homes, uh, across the channel for the most part, there's a few that uh, don't do any customizations, but most of the site uh, builders, most of them, uh, can customize different things. It's kind of a fun little setup with uh, the bunks. And a nice big walk-in closet too. Now, these closets, are a lot bigger than the one that we just toured. The Belleville. And then a Jack and Jill. Got the light fixtures up there, double vanities. And then back behind us, we got the shower and tub combo with the tile surround and a nice toilet. And then into the second bedroom. Let's get over here in the corner so we can get a, a good look at it. And then into its closet. All right, then across the way uh, is the entrance into the master bedroom. This one's pretty unique. Uh, the closet, it's got a his and her closet. Oh my goodness, those things are massive. But before you get there, you do have a coat closet. So you're pretty, you're in close proximity to the front door. So uh, I would consider that to be the coat closet. It could be something else. I could be way off on that one. A great big master bedroom. Yeah, I walked into this closet and I was like, ooh. I wasn't sure if, because uh, the last one I went into, it had a whole gym back there. Like, this closet's big enough to be a gym. But coming into the ensuite, I mean, the bathroom itself is nice. So you got double floating vanities with the underglow lights. Great big soaking tub right in the middle. And then these light fixtures are fun too. A little different. Then you've got a, a walk-in shower. And then a tile shower tray also. The toilet. And then the closet. See? I told you it was big enough to be a gem. <laughs> I'm just kidding. This ain't the this ain't the one I'm talking about. This is one of them, but there are two of them. This is the second one. And it is ginormous. So you could definitely get like an island in here. Let's get over here so you can, like you could do some jumping jacks, all types of stuff. So I'm, I'm digging this en suite. Now we'll, we'll go ahead and uh, head up to the bonus room up above the garage, see what all that has to offer. 
So again, this door would go out into the actual garage, and then this one goes up to the bonus room. So you got this nice set of stairs that kind of wraps around. And you've got a the banister and a nice window looking out onto the roof, <laughs> but still provides some light. Oh, now this one's nice. I like this one a lot better. So great big space up here. This looks very beachy. So again, the only thing that I would add, if you're gonna do something like this, would be like a little kitchenette. I guess if it's a, a kid, it doesn't really matter. They can, I mean, I'm not gonna leave my kid up here, but <laughs> who knows what they'd get into. But you got a little uh, crawl space access area up here. I know it's kind of dark, but. And a nice little sitting room. I mean, this is pretty nice though, because you got, they put the TV over it, you got a little workspace, and then at least you got like a refrigerator, like a little mini fridge up here. Got a little spot to put your clothes maybe. And then back behind us, you got a full bath with your single vanity. It's a little recessed light, the toilet, and then a walk-in shower. I like it. All right, let me know what you think about this home down in the comments. Again, thank you so much for taking the time to tour it with me. If you do want any information on this model or Schumacher Homes or any of the homes that we've toured across the country, you can head over to timothyplivingston.com where you can search hundreds of different floor plans and take the full video tours, find out pricing information, state availability, and so much more. What's going on guys? Welcome back. Today we are at Schumacher Homes, Akron, Ohio location and we are currently standing inside of the Chesapeake 4. Let's step outside and I'll take you on a tour. <laughs> All right, wow. This thing is massive and it is so grandiose inside. Oh, I can't wait to get you in there. So this is a four bedroom, three and a half bath, 4,276 square foot home. And it is again, the American tradition version of the Chesapeake Four. Wow. I mean, brick, stone, gorgeous. Anyway, I hope you guys are ready for this one. I hope you're having a great day. I'm so glad that you can come back and join me as we tour yet another sensational Schumacher home. I love these guys and I am so thankful that they have allowed me to come out and tour so many of their models. It has just been I mean, it's been awesome. I don't think I would ever see homes like this if I, if I wasn't able to tour Schumacher Homes. Like they just do an outstanding job and this thing just keeps winding around. So we are at their Akron, Ohio location and they have quite a few models. I know we're gonna, that blue one down there, we're gonna get into in just a little bit. They have this one. Next to us, they have an Olivia, and then they have three more on the other side, one of which is a brand new model that is getting built. So super excited about that. Coming around to the back, windows everywhere. Y'all, this home has two staircases, one in the living room, one in the entrance. It is ridiculous. And then you have this really nice covered back porch. You got the wood up on the wall, up on the ceiling and then entrances from all the way around this home. And then from here, you have windows looking into the master bedroom and then coming around to the side. Now this, I think this may be one of the biggest uh, design centers at any of the Schumacher Homes locations that I've been to. 
That thing is gigantic when you go inside. And whew, it's just a whole experience. Every one of these little model centers that I go to, they just, I love it when they provide an experience when you're out here looking at the homes. You know what I mean? It's not just like, oh, here's a lot. Go look at the homes. No, they got these beautiful pathways. They've got all types of stuff going on inside of the, the showroom. So many different things. But anyway. Whew, are y'all ready to get inside this thing? I am. And even in here, look at this. Massive. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Look at this. All right, so this is your view when you first walk into the front door. Oh man, y'all, this thing, this thing is nice. All right, so your foyer, you have this tremendous two-story foyer right here, like making a statement when you walk into the home. And then turn you around again, you got this kind of curving stairway beautiful all right we're gonna go ahead and start over here to the left as you enter the home because this is what all that is over here and it is this nice office area it's a flex room you know it's got the vaulted ceilings in here very moody i like it like you're coming in here to do some work get busy so but for you know, you can honestly turn this thing into whatever you want it to be. Nice little library. All types of stuff, whatever you can imagine, you know what I mean? And then coming out of here across the foyer, this home does have a very elegant formal dining room. Looking out that huge front window. <laughs> y'all I'm I'm tickled this thing is I am digging it I don't even know which way to go this we can go every which way so out of the formal dining room you kind of start peering into your living room let's go ahead and go in here I don't know how to keep like <laughs> any type of man huge coffered ceilings up there this thing is humongous. So lovely great room, floor to ceiling fireplace. You got your gas insert right here. Big old sliding glass doors going out onto your back porch. And we'll make sure to get out there in just a little bit. And then this is your view from down here in the great room looking back upstairs so you can see where uh, the stairs from the foyer lead up to the second floor Whew. all right so let's go ahead and stick to this side of the house stay into the left side <laughs> oh they got us man all right so this is entering into your master suite and into the ensuite. Whoo wee, man. So you have double vanity right here with your makeup vanity in the middle. Nice little arch up above it. Huge soaking tub. You got the nice braised bronze fixture right here. Nice crank out window and a big old picture frame window right there. And then I'm gonna try a magnanimous shower. <laughs> man, oh man. This thing, tile surround, the shower tray is tile. You got a bench over here. And this thing is Wow, so much space in here. <laughs> and 
And no, I have, I have not walked past the foyer. So in case you guys are wondering, your water closet right here, why I'm giggling like a little kid. <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't stop. You have a linen closet and then you enter into the first of the two walk-in closets. And then into the second. Very nice big open space in here, but whew, it's going to be one surprise after the other in here. I can feel it. And then from there down the rest of the way, you enter into the master bedroom. You have a nice exposed beam up there with your cathedral ceilings. Gorgeous sleigh bed. Got the leather on the end. Nice. And then from here, you do have access out onto your back porch. And then even, even the window up top is a crank out. Stunning. Look how big that mirror is. I don't know if you can really tell just because the ceilings, it makes it look small. But this thing, it's like a seven foot mirror. Huge. Now, the great thing about this room is that it is on the complete opposite end of everything in this house. So, we shall make our way. Oh, look at all the stonework. Into the kitchen. Y'all, I'm trying to keep it together, but... <laughs> Beautiful. So much cabinet space. Really nice wood shelves. You got some holes in there to adjust them. The countertop rolls into the backsplash. Wow. And then even more cabinet space over here. Now, I'm pretty sure I saw a pantry and we're going to get to that in a little bit. So just go ahead and admire all of the cabinets in this kitchen right now. Man, oh man. So you have the stainless refrigerator with the refrigerator on one side and your freezer on the other. Check out these corner cabinets. See what all we got going on. Got a lady's, Lazy Susan down here. And then from there you have this really nice stone surround around your stove and range hood. That thing is serious. So really nice backsplash right here too. And then next to that, even more counter space. And then in between, not only do you have all of this in the middle, you have this gorgeous island. You have the raised bar over here. You can put a seat right here and then you have enough room for three seats on this side. The gorgeous pendant lights hanging down over the top of it. All right, I'm not leaving. <laughs> They're going to have to kick me out. So double stainless sink, again with the breeze bronze fixtures. More cabinets, and then you do have your dishwasher right here in the island. All right, so before we go on to kind of like the family room, you do have, now I want to let you know kind of where we are. Over there, you can kind of see the foyer into your formal dining room. So you would hang a right to come down into this corridor, which would lead out into your kitchen over here on the left. But to the right, you do have a half bath. Really nice 
bowl right there and then your toilet and then continuing through here you have your mudroom your garage and then you would have like a coat closet right here okay I thought we saw a pantry but this is your utility room so you do have a wash basin and then washer and dryer hookups so that makes sense why there's so many cabinets you have cabinets for days in there all right so coming back through the kitchen into like your morning room you have another eating space look at that they got the coffee grounds in the middle right there that's pretty cute but really nice space and then from here we'll go ahead and step out onto the back porch let you guys check that out so really nice you have access into your master bedroom and then of course from your formal living room And then you have the recessed lights up here with a couple fans. Very nice. Yo, we're not even like, we still got to go upstairs. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right. And then towards the end of the house, you do have a lovely den with a second fireplace, another nice stone surround. And then you have a mantle up above it. So... Whoo! That's what I'm talking about. All right, so from here, we're gonna head upstairs and we've only seen the one bedroom, so we still have three more bedrooms to see. All right, so when you come up to the top of the stairs, this is your view down into the great room. And then you do have the path coming from your front foyer. And that opens up into this loft area up here. And then you have a linen closet right here. And then we'll go ahead and start in this bedroom. This is the first of the three bedrooms upstairs. So to the right, you do have closet nice walk-in closet in here I can get all the way in and then this room does have its own ensuite so you have a single vanity with your vanity light your toilet and then a shower and tub combo into the second bedroom now this bedroom and the next bedroom share a jack and jill bathroom so we'll get over here in the corner and let you all check it out again i've loved the decorations in this house very nice i mean in this home you know i don't even think it needed decorations it i think it holds its own without anything so another nice size closet in here And then from here, we'll walk into the Jack and Joe bathroom. You have double vanity and your vanity light. And then you have an entrance from uh, the loft area. Another linen closet in here. And then behind me, you have your water closet with your shower and tub combo. and your toilet and then coming into the third bedroom this one sits up at the front of the house again another really nice size and then it has the double closet doors right here with a step-in closet 
But if you want to see a home that gives this one a run for its money, today we are at Schumacher Homes, Charlotte, North Carolina location, and I've introduced you to the coastal version of this home. But now let me introduce you to the modern farmhouse version, and that is of the Heritage. Now this home is a three bedroom, two bath, 2,163 square foot home. And while it does have some of those key features of a farmhouse design, such as the board and batten siding, it also incorporates a lot of brickwork which gives it a really unique feel on the outside of this home. As you go around the outside of the home towards the sides, you'll start to see it transition from board and batten and brick into your vinyl siding. And then as you get to the back of the home, it does have this beautiful back porch that has access from two different locations and you'll get to see that inside. I got a feeling that this is the home for me. I love farmhouses. I just, there's something about them. I know it can be a love or hate thing for a lot of people, but personally, I am so in love with the farmhouse design. You have this beautiful entryway in your foyer with the black door popping against the white walls. Really, really snazzy. And then I did want to point this out right here too. This, you have the accent wall when you first walk in really beautiful definitely has a lot of texture right there and then you have this beautiful flex room which is kind of subdivided from the rest of the house with this pillar and you, you can turn this into anything right now it is set up as a little office space i'm sure it would probably look pretty good as maybe a dining room i'm not real sure you let me know down in the comments and then I love kind of the natural wood shiplap right here. Definitely makes this home feel really warm. So I don't know, maybe it would still be an office area, but this home does have a, a formal dining room too. So I'm not real sure what I would do with it. All right, as you pan around, you're seeing the main living area. We'll go ahead and start over here to avoid going into the master bedroom, beautiful brick wall right here with your nice, cute shelves. Maybe you put a fireplace right here. I think with that, you know, I feel like a farmhouse has to have a fireplace. You know what I mean? So that's probably what I would, I would have one put in. Big old windows looking out over your porch. And then just a gorgeous view in here, very open. The floor actually matches that wall right there. So that's pretty cool. Coming into your kitchen, you have a really big island. Soft closed drawers. Sometimes I have to I have to go through some of these things for you guys. But I love the soft clothes. As far as the sink, nice stainless sink. Beautiful stainless fixtures. And then you have your dishwasher in here. And then a whole bunch of seats around this island. I think this one has the most seating I've seen yet. Six total. Very nice. And then, oop, skirt. <laughs> Uh, got to lean in. This has got to be your pantry. There you go right there. Nice pantry right off of your kitchen. I think that's a really good placement. All of you are always talking about the triangle and this is like the first time I can actually see it, like in person. Sink, stove, refrigerator, perfect triangle. I've always been like, how is that gonna work out? You know what I mean? But there you go, now I can actually see it. So beautiful cabinets, and this is what I was talking about. A lot of those farmhouses that you see are all white cabinets, like everywhere. And this kind of breaks up that, you know what I mean? It's not white on white, which would be like the backsplash, white backsplash with the white cabinets. So you got your crank out windows, your gas 
stove. Nice stainless range vent. And then as you can see, the backsplash goes all the way up to the ceiling. Very nice. A lot of cabinets in here. Off of your kitchen, you do have your dining room area with all the mirrors over here. That's pretty funky. Kind of opens up the space a little bit. And then your dining room table. And all of that sits right off of your first entrance out onto the patio. So you can enter out there from both here and then the master bedroom as well. So really pretty. I was actually, I was going to do like the normal walk around because I haven't done that for, you know, in several videos, mostly because all of these homes have been right up on the road. So it's been super loud. But I was going to start walking around it. I walked out the front door and one of the other businesses that are close by, someone had a blower going <laughs> and they ruined it. Anyway, all right. Now coming down the hallway to the rest, like the two back bedrooms, you come to your first full bath with your single vanity. Ooh, I love this countertop. It's like a nice blue. I think that's a quartz countertop. Very nice. Your vanity lights and then this shower and tub with the tile surround that goes all the way up to the ceiling. And your toilet. Coming out of the hallway or back into the hallway, you have a linen closet right here. And then you have two bedrooms. So this is the first of the two bedrooms. And we're back up towards the front of the house just to kind of give you a reference. Ooh, that wall is trippy. Look, I was looking at it through the camera. <laughs> I had to look up for a second. So you have your closet right there with the double doors. I love the paint color in here. Really nice. It's very soft. And then coming into the second bedroom. And this one is about the same size. And then of course you have the double closet door there as well. Now we have still the garage and the master bedroom to see, but there's one thing that I love about the heritage floor plan. And I'm gonna show you why. So right now you would come down this hall and you would have your entrance into your garage, right? So that's where we are right now in the garage. Of course, there's a whole bunch of different things that you can have in here. And if you wanted to pause it and imagine what you would put in your home, feel free to do so. I definitely understand. You see that Blue Ridge right there, the second one? I'm going to see that tomorrow and I'm super excited about it. Like over the top excited. Anyway, all right. So this is your garage. Coming out of your garage, to the right, you would have into your hallway and main living area. To the left, you would enter into this first room, which would be your laundry room, where you have your washer and dryer hookups, and then a cute little changing, changing table, listen to me, folding table. I got baby on the mind. My goodness. Now from here, and there are two entrances into your master bedroom. So, well, technically, from here, your laundry room, you would go into your master closet. So if you had all your dirty clothes in your master closet, it's easy, it's like it's too easy just to put it inside of your laundry room. And here's a door. Most of these doorways currently don't have doors. And that's just so you can walk in and out. But if you were to have the home built, you would have a door. But this is the first one I've seen and 
all of the show models. But anyway, so this is the second closet in here. And this is all inside of your master bathroom. But that gives you the option, if you were to come through the mass, like through the bedroom into the bathroom, but you still needed to get into the closet, but you didn't want to do all the things, there's so many different ways to get in here. This is your, sorry, I know you didn't want to look at the toilet forever, but <laughs> that's your water closet. You'd still have a door right there, you know what I mean? So you could still come through. And then this is coming into your master bathroom. You have double vanities, a beautiful garden tub. Wow, look at, look at the tile behind this thing. So this is your shower. You have the tray, uh, what is it? the tile shower tray. And then look how cool that is. That is gorgeous. And then you have your second vanity over here. Absolutely stunning. And then you have your master bedroom. Man, I love the wall. And then you have this beautiful kind of tray ceiling. access to the back porch we'll come over here and pan around and then I'll show you the other entrance right here as well so this is your master bedroom and then off to the left right here this is where you would come through if you were coming from the main living area so boom we wrap it back around so you can come to it from either side What's going on everyone? Welcome. Today we are at Schumacher Homes, Wilmington, North Carolina location, and we are currently standing inside of the coastal version of the Carolina. Now this home is my absolute dream home and the whole entire reason that I wanted to come down here to this specific location. Now this home is on stilts. Of course it is meant for coastal living. It is a four bedroom, three and a half bath, 2,560 square foot home with an attached in-law suite. Now some of the amazing features that this home has is beautiful vaulted ceilings with amazing wood accents, porches that go on both the front of the home and the back of the home on every single level. There is an elevator that goes from the bottom level all the way up here to the main living space. And then of course you have this beautiful kitchen. Now from the outside of this home, from the main level, you can take the elevator up underneath of the house up to any one of your levels. There is a staircase that comes up to the first level, which is where you would access the majority of your bedrooms and of course your in-law suite. I love the white board and batten siding that they used on this home. They incorporated some wood pillars as well and the black frame windows. That right there is just the pinnacle of every dream I've ever had in a home. Now Schumacher Homes is one of the largest customized site-built home builders in the country, and they have won multiple awards for both designs and quality. So, are you ready to go inside? Let's go. All right, y'all, so we are going to start off with the main structure of this home, and then towards the end of the video, we will work our way back down to the in-law suite. Now, when you first come in this home, this is your entrance into the main first level from the outside stairs. Now, again, there is an elevator. So if you were to take the elevator, you could take that all the way up to the top floor with the common areas, with the kitchen, your dining room, and your living room. Now, right off to the right, as you come in, this is your utility room. You have your water heaters, and then you have your washer and dryer hookups 
as well. And a beautiful window in here. Coming back out of your utility room to the right, you have your stairs going up to your common area. This corner wall right here is absolutely gorgeous. A lot of texture coming out of that wall. <laughs> and then the floors, beautiful plank flooring. I love the darker tones in there. And then you have this kind of sitting area, gathering space with another beautiful accent wall. Oh, ceiling fan, that is, that is something else. And then you have a little bar area over here with your wine fridge. With the soft close cabinets, some nice wood shelving, and then this beautiful kind of gray slate color tile. Now through this doorway, into your hallway, you come to one of your first full bathrooms with your beautiful counter countertops, your single vanity, your walk-in shower with the black framed shower door. And of course, the really nice tile surround. And then you have your toilet and window. Now from there, you can exit back out into the hallway or into the bedroom that shares this bathroom. And an absolutely beautiful room has access to one of the porches on this level. Your walk-in closet. Now, I know I'm gonna get this in the comments that there are no doors in any of the bedrooms or bathrooms. There are, there would be doors. This is just a model so it allows you to flow seamlessly through the home without having to open up too many things. Coming out onto the back porch, just imagine yourself sitting out here with a cup of coffee or a glass of orange juice. Absolutely beautiful. And then of course, there is a bedroom over there with access to this same porch. Now coming back inside, we will continue around this doorway that you see right in front of me, this one right here. This is your elevator and you would step off onto your first floor right here or you can access it to either go up to the second floor or back down to where your car is parked. In the hallway, you do have a closet. Opposite that, this door is going to lead into your furnace. And if you've noticed, the flooring has been running throughout the home into all the bedrooms, so there's not a lick of carpet in this home, with the exception of like the rugs, if you want to count that. Coming into the second bedroom, beautiful shiplap accent wall with these kind of actually square can lights, which is pretty cool. I've always ever seen them rounded. And then this room also has a really nice size walk-in closet. Definitely got some beach vibes going on. And then you have this sliding glass door out onto the same porch that we came from a little bit ago. 
Now this room shares a Jack and Jill bathroom with the third and final bedroom on this level. You do have another beautiful double vanity. I love the countertops. And then you have some really nice lights up above your mirror. Your water closet with your toilet and your shower and tub combo with the tile surround. Schumacher Homes has absolutely knocked it out of the park with this one and I'm so excited about it. Come on lottery. No, I'm just kidding. Beautiful ceiling. I love the ceiling. Now this is the third and final bedroom. Again, great big windows. And here you can kind of catch a glimpse of the other unit where your in-law suite is and the stilts that this home is standing up on. So cool, such a cool feeling. And then you have these double doors for the closet in this room with a really nice deep closet that actually goes pretty far back there on either side. Very nice. Now from here, we are going to go upstairs, utilizing the stairs because I tried really hard to get into the elevator. Not that hard, I tried to open the door and of course it's locked. So here we are. I had to take the long way around. Oh well. But the stairs open up into this absolutely gorgeous, room, beautiful windows in your living room, your chandelier, your dining room with the chandelier, and then these beautiful beams going across your ceiling. Kind of pan around. Those beams go all the way through the kitchen. And I am just absolutely in love. And then coming out onto the back deck. This is the top deck. Of course, you have the wood ceiling with the recessed lights. The dark railing with the beautiful stained wood pillars. And then of course, just imagine that view, no matter what it is, whether it's this one right here with the beautiful trees or it's a nice picturesque coastline view. Man, gets me all excited. Ah, I shocked myself. <laughs> all right. Now coming back into the house, we'll walk around the dining room table real quick and then we will go into this beautiful kitchen. So plenty of room for just an absolutely massive dining room table. And I love the fact that everything is so separated. Like you could have people kind of hanging out down in their bedrooms. You could have people gathering up here and it's just, it's a really cool feeling. Now coming into the kitchen, you do have this great big oversized island with plenty of spaces for seating, both here on the end and then coming down the front of the island as well with these absolutely amazing pendant lights. And then on the end of your island, you do have some cabinets. Of course, they are soft clothes as well. Your beautiful undermount sink with the quartz countertops and the stainless fixtures. 
and your dishwasher. Then on the opposite side of the counter, the cabinets don't go all the way up to the ceiling, so you can add some decorations up there. Then you have your range hood and your stove. Really fantastic looking glass backsplash. I love the kind of gray contrast with the white. In the corner over here, you do have your Lazy Susan. And some more nice deep cabinets. Then you have your refrigerator with uh, double refrigerator doors on top. And then your freezer on the bottom. Right next to your refrigerator, you have your pantry. Oh my goodness. All right, now coming back around in front of the stairs, you do have, this is again, the door to your elevator up here on the second floor. Then you have your half bath with the quartz countertop and the undermount sink and your toilet. Then coming down into this hallway, the ceilings again raise up high and you enter into your master suite. And this room is ridiculous. Not only does it have this incredible sleeping area, really nice. I love the texture. It's kind of like a 3D kind of accent wall. Behind that, you do have a smaller closet. And I'll show you why I say smaller closet here in a minute. Because down your little hallway here, it leads into your massive walk-in closet. And again, flooring, it's going everywhere. I love it to death. Now, I didn't point it out, because I'm sure you already saw it, and you know we're gonna, we're, we're gonna go out there in a little bit. You might see some B-roll of it. But um, this is the front deck that you have access. Two doors here in the sleeping area, and then you do have access here from the master bathroom. And then coming into the master bathroom, you do have a double vanity, again with the quartz countertops and the undermount sink. Beautiful marbled tile, both here and as the tiles surround for your walk-in shower. the glass doors. They went with the funky kind of extended rainfall shower head here. And then you have your toilet in the water closet as well. Then from here you do have access to this balcony area that goes the full length of the home. Perfect for an owner's retreat secluded from the rest of the house. All right, now from here, I'm gonna speed you up and get you on down to your in-law suite. And then coming into your in-law suite, immediately you have these beautiful double tray ceilings. The really nice accent wall. Again, they continue with the flooring here.
and this room acts as their whole living space. And then you have your refrigerator, your undermount sink, and some more soft closed cabinets. And then of course the uppers don't quite go all the way up to the ceiling. As far as the bathroom in here, it is an absolutely massive bathroom, rivaling that of, of course, the owner's bathroom. With the quartz countertops and the undermount sink, the beautiful tile in here, I love that tile. And then of course the light fixture, your toilet with plenty of room for you to maneuver and then your walk-in shower with the tile surround and the bench. From here, you enter into your massive walk-in closet. And all of the bathroom has this beautiful tile as well. Now, I hope you guys enjoyed this home as much as I did. Again, absolutely one of my all-time favorite homes ever, 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 ever. Now, Schumacher Homes does have several locations across the country, so if you are interested in a home and you wanna see if they build in your area or if they have a model center near or around you, you can definitely go check them out on their website, and I'll leave the information for Schumacher Homes down in the description below. Now, as far as price goes, this home is gonna start around $424,000. Of course, that price can fluctuate depending on a whole variety of factors and may or may not be the price that you pay if you decide to make this home yours. Now, I really appreciated you guys hanging out with me today. I had so much fun and I really enjoyed sharing this absolutely incredible home with you. As always, guys, my name's Timothy and I'll see you in the next one.